like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that bell. Now to the video. Demon here, and today we are reviewing a show that just came out yesterday, and I did not get a chance to watch it till today because there was another show that came out yesterday, which was the Dragon, the the Dragon Prince season two. I'll put that in the description if you want to watch that for any particular reason. But today we are reviewing the Umbrella Corporate. The Umbrella Academy, sorry. The Umbrella Academy. We're going to review this show, uh, see how good it is, see how bad it is, amongst other things. So, without spoiling this, because it's a very interesting show. Uh, it's, I don't want to spoil this, so I'm just going to do a quick review before spoiling it. Um, if I'm going to rate this 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, 5 being the average, I'm going to say this is an 8. This is a very good show. I would watch it definitely. It's a little bit confusing at times. Uh, you can tell what's going to happen in the plot, but it took me a while to uh, like to get it. It was just like, huh, like what's going to happen in the plot? And then it's just like, oh, now I get it. It's like it's very interesting to be like, oh, it just snapped in my head. Like, oh, now I get it. That's what's going to happen. I know how that's going to happen now. So it's not like it's not predictable, but it's just like, it's it's one of those rare things where it took you a, a longer time to to think about what the predictable plot was going to be. Um, there is a few things in it that I disagree with. Like, there's some side parts in there that were just kind of like, just there. And it was just kind of like, why was it there? And I don't know if you noticed, but the majority of Netflix shows nowadays, or the majority of the ones that I've watched, for some reason always have back, uh, have like back flashes in them. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just does. And this one's no different. It has several of them, as a matter of fact. But I do like this one way better than I like all the rest of them, because this one's actually pretty good on the back, on the uh, the back, uh, the back flasher. <sighs> yeah, I think that's what it's called, right? Back flash. Yeah, on the back flash, it's actually pretty good, and they're actually pretty interesting. There was a little bit of a slight side plot in there. That I guess did uh, r relate to the main story. Um, it was about these two people, but uh, I don't know. I felt like that could have been worked on a little bit less, and the main story could have been had a little bit more to it. But other than that, it's actually a very good watch. I rate it an eight. Watch this if you want to watch this without being spoiled. Okay, now spoiler alert. Spoiler section coming up. So basically, this is about seven kids who have supernatural powers or only six of them at the beginning only have supernatural powers and then their father figure was very harsh on them like very harsh uh and he was like a really shitty father supposedly and it was very interesting to see like how that like works out and stuff like that it, like ruined their lives and made them all emotionally damaged <laughs> Uh, so we get to see their messed up lives, like one's addicted to drugs, one wants to stop crime, one still believes in the father. Um, it's very interesting to see, and one's an actor that had a daughter, but then lost his, lost her daughter because she used her powers on her daughter, and her powers are like, it's a, the power of suggestion, it's basically like mind control almost. It's like the power of suggestion, so it's just like, oh, can you do this? It's kind of, it kind of reminded me of, um, of... Bioshock, can you kindly? <laughs> but instead, she's like, I hear, I heard a rumor, and also, uh, they have. Uh, this was a comic book at first, you know. This is a comic book. I never actually seen the comic book or heard of it. I have seen it like a little bit, but I haven't like read anything from it, obviously. But this was a comic book, and it seems like it's very interesting to see what this whole thing is about. It's it's very interesting. Um, from my understanding, we didn't get to see some of the powers of the people. Like, in the comic book, the guy that can communicate with the dead, he can also fly. But we did not get to see that from him in this. Maybe it's because he hasn't unleashed his full potential yet, but we didn't get to see it from him. Um, but that's probably the only character I know that can fly and he did not fly in this, in this show. I don't know about the other characters if they have anything else, but... Uh, that's the one that I, that he did not it did not happen. So it's very interesting, nonetheless. So all the characters and the character development is okay to a extent. 
or maybe it's not, I would say it's probably some of the best character development I've ever seen in the show. Like, we get character development for every single main character. The one that didn't get as much character development as he should have, but he still got, like, a lot of character development, was, I forgot his name, I think his name is Diego or something like that, he's, he's a knife-throwing guy. He got quite a bit of character development, but I feel like he should have had more. We got a lot of character development for the drug addict, which was my favorite character, by the way. Uh, for the evil girl that turns evil at the end, uh, which is one of the sisters that was supposedly plain, but it turns out she had powers all along. And I did hear about that in the comic books. Like, I heard about it, like, when someone was talking about it. So I knew that she had powers all along, but I did not know it was going to end up in her destroying the world. Which was a very interesting uh, twist that took me, like, to episode five or six to get. I was just like, how's the world going to be destroyed? And I was just like, holy shit, it's, it's her. Like, I knew it as soon as, like, this one scene happened. And it was, like, it was very, it, it was very interesting to see these things coming and very interesting. Um, so yeah, it's a very interesting story. Uh, I, I, I actually really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, like all the characters have backstories and, uh, they're actually pretty fleshed out characters, which is pretty cool. Uh, the, the least one, I, as I already said, was the knife guy. I forgot his name. Diego, I think. He was like the least one in my opinion. I feel like he needed a little bit more story, but whatever, I guess. We get what we get. Um, we also have this side plot that I didn't really like that much, which is basically these two assassins that were sent to kill them, but then it turned into their own little side plot where they tried to kill each other, amongst other things. And it was just kind of just like, like, uh, I guess we need it because it did remain to the late, to the, to the plot, right? Um, but I feel like we got a little bit too much of them because they're only side characters. And they don't play a big part. They do play a big part, but they don't play like a big enough part to get to know them that much, in my opinion. So I feel like that whole side bit with them could have been shortened just a little bit. We didn't need all that drama, but whatever, I guess. It's okay for what it is. Um, I like the whole like back in time thing, and like the whole like we were assassin for this time pre this time people. Very interesting story. I actually really liked it. A lot of times, uh, time travel stories are kind of dumb. But this was actually very interesting to see uh, all this stuff like that. It was very interesting. Um, the story in general was very interesting. Uh, I just, I, I really liked this show, and I can't recommend this enough. I would say go watch this show. If anything on Netflix, this is the show that you should watch. If anything, watch this show because it's very interesting. To say the least. And I really enjoyed it. Um, they left off on a cliffhanger. For I'm, guess, I'm guessing they, they think they're going to get a season 2. Which I hope they do. Because I want to watch it. Basically they all go back in time. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens when they all go back in time. Because they bring the average girl. Who was the almost apocalypse starter. Or who was actually the apocalypse starter. Uh, they bring her back in time with them. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens there. Or I don't know if they went back in time or forward in time. But they went through time somewhere. Um, it's, it's just interesting. Uh, like they're a family. You know? it's, it's interesting like family dynamic. Although two of them are kind of like lovers almost. But I guess technically they're only like, uh, si like not really siblings. And the father treated them in such a way that they weren't really behaved as siblings. So, I guess it's okay to have that in there. I don't mind it. I like, it's weird. <laughs> like, the, to love, like, your sister, uh, stepsister and stepbrother like that. But whatever, I guess. Although, to a certain extent, I think that's weird. To a certain extent, I don't. Like, at that young of an age, living together since they were kids, it's kind of weird. But I can understand if, like, you're a teenager and then all of a sudden you have feelings for, like, your teenager step-sibling. Or, like, you're an adult and you have feelings for your adult step-sibling. I can understand that, but, like, since they were kids? And then all of a sudden they're like, ooh, like, uh, we might get together sort of thing? It's kind of just like, 
that's weird. They grew up together as siblings, and now they're like gonna get together. And it's just like, ugh, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. It's just kind of weird. I can understand if they're older, but they were like grown together since babies. Uh, so it's kind of weird. But I guess each to their own, right? It's not against the law. I'm, I don't think it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. But their dad's dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter now. <laughs> Uh, but, but it's a very interesting show. Uh, I definitely liked it. And I definitely suggest going to watch it. Uh, if you're going on Netflix, go watch it. It's only 10 episodes long. 10. Um, that's the end of this. I hope you enjoyed this review. And I hope you enjoyed the show because I know I did. And that's it. <laughs> go to the description to watch my other review on the other show that I watched yesterday. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell notification because you love my content. And as always, my friends, stay sane. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Because I know I did. But anyways, uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell for notifications. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, do it because she wants you to. And I do too. So subscribe, watch the videos. Hit one of these things on the screen right now. Okay, bye-bye. Peace.